Is it me? I can't hear the audio. Is the audio on? to today's devotional. Um, I want to request Pure to open with a word of prayer. Even as we get into our devotional this morning. Okay. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, your name, King of Glory, for granting us this day, Lord, to be in your presence, Lord. We pray, Lord, as we start this day, guide us, protect us, Jehovah, King of Glory. We pray for your guidance, Jehovah, my God, and honor shall be unto thee. As we do this devotion, O Lord, guide us, Jehovah, Lord, be with us, minister to us, and honor shall be unto thee. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. God bless you for, for praying. Uh, Karibuni. I, I want to to write something here. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to, but I will try. Uh, I want to request, we are not so many, so I want us to request that if we can uh, unmute. We are not writing anything on the one who is writing. So I want us today to talk about uh, prayer of Jonah. Prayer of Jonah. Jonah. So um, let me ask this question. Give me a few thoughts or what comes to your mind when you hear the name Jonah can just unmute and say or you can type I'm so sure we can uh, see that together so you can either unmute or or say something what comes to your mind when you hear Jonah Papendwa Fear? You fear, you said fear, Prof, right? What comes to mind is a fearful person and fear. And fear. Fear. Uh, fear. Fear, I say fear. Yes, fear. Thank you. Uh, what else comes to your mind? Like three, five samples, then we carry on. I can see in the chat people have written disobedience. Oh, okay. Disobedience inside the Xomax, Babutis. Obedience, that's disobedience, yes. Uh -huh. Another one says, I hear a man whose fear of what God called him to do. Uh, of fear again. Fear again. Mm -hmm. I would also think rebellion. Rebellion. And I also think about how God detours us. You know, we retour us. You know how you miss the way and then God calls you back, retouring. 
Oh, well, what do you call it? Rerouting. Rerouting. The word re is rerouting. Mm. Reroute. Is that the spelling? Yes. Reroute. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I okay. can see someone has written also eventually a heart that accepted change. Heart that accepted change. Accepted, yeah, accepted change. Okay. That's a, yeah. a very but fast. I also see God's power. God's, God's power. power. Supremacy over everything. Uh-huh. God supremacy. It is God who level quit is so God supremacy. Over everything. Okay. Mm. Uh thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll keep uh, uh, this uh, whiteboard. Um I will also come back to, to it. Um, <laughs> so what I want to begin by saying uh, this morning, the things that we've written here most of the time is what comes to our mind when we think about the man Jonah. Uh, and this morning, I want us to think about man Jonah. And I want to add the key thing here. Probably it's what tells us about a heart that accepted change, uh, accepted change, this is change here, yeah, itaketa kuongeza a change in sour to a heart that accepted change. Um, and also maybe it's also what tells us uh, how God's supremacy or power is um, displayed in his life. So I will write these, I wish I had another color Yes, I can get another column. And I want to say here, Jonah, Jonah, cups, rate. That's one thing that um, most of the time we don't get to say. But Jonah, yes, he was fearful. Yes, he disobeyed. Uh, he feared when God in Manika fear Marambili because it has appeared twice. A man that feared uh, the assignment that God was giving him. A man that even rebelled. <clears throat> uh, he was rebellious. Uh, but we also see a man who was uh, rerouted, uh, brought back, restored. And we see a man uh, whose heart accepted. Um, change to see God's power being uh, displayed uh, or demonstrated because Jonah eventually Jonah prayed. I wish we had a good time to discuss Jonah today. Um, I really wish so that we had a good time to discuss about him. Um, I want to ask uh, uh, let me see who can quickly read. Uh, Elijah, I don't know. Are you able to read the book of Jonah, chapter 2? Chapter 2, you can uh, help us read about his prayer. Uh, Jonah, chapter 2. Yes? <clears throat> okay. Um, let me read. Um Yes, oh, I can. I can read. I was okay. just opening the. Okay, okay. The verse. Yeah. <clears throat> you want me to read the whole of it? Uh, the one to nine. Verse one to nine. Yes. Okay, Jonah chapter two, uh, and good morning, everyone. Good morning. From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord, his God. He said, "I in my distress, I I called to the Lord, and He answered me." From the deep in the in the realm in the realm of the dead, I called for help, and you listened to my cry. You hurled me into the depths, into the very heart of the seas, and the currents swelled about me. All your waves and breakers swept over me. I I said, I have been banished from your sight. 
yet I will look again towards your holy temple. The engulfing waters threatened me and the depth and the deep surrounded me. Seaweed was wrapped around my head and was, ra was wrapped around my head. To the roots of the mountains, I sank down. The earth beneath barred me in forever. But you, Lord, my God, brought my life up from the pit. When my life was ebbing away, I remembered you, Lord, and my prayer rose to you, to your holy temple. Those who cling to worthless idols turn away from God, from God's love for them. But I, but I with, but I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed, I will make good. I will, I will say salvation comes from the Lord. Amen. And the thing commanded the fish and he vomited Jonah into dry land. Amen. Thank you, Elijah. Uh, quickly, now, the first thing that we read, uh, this prayer is very interesting. It's more of a reported uh, a speech how he did it. Um, Jonah prayed. That's the first thing that we read, is that Jonah prayed um prior to this uh, uh, point in the story Jonah had not prayed even though presumably if you read the unsaved sailors did they prayed to their gods but Jonah had not prior to this statement that then Jonah prayed to he had not prayed Actually, the unconverted captain, so to speak, came and called Jonah out and told him, call out to your God. Call out to your God. The key point here, as we learn about the prayer of Jonah, is that those who do not obey, like Jonah, they find it so difficult to pray. When God is specifically giving us instructions about what he wants us to do, and for one reason or another, just like Jonah, find it not fit to step up and do what God is saying, then we are also deprived of the courage to approach God and talk to him because prayer is an issue of the heart. The second thing, we see that Jonah prayed to someone. He prayed to God. He prayed to the Lord. That is verse 7. So to whom one prays makes all the difference. You remember there was a showdown between Elijah and the prophets of Baal. And what that tells us and demonstrates to us is that to whom you pray to makes all the difference. They prayed to false and fake gods, the sailors and all that. But we also see here that Eli, uh, not Elijah, Elijah Kohapa Pia, we see that Jonah, and Jonah is a, a very a passionate someone to Edna. The first time I had a speak, she was speaking about Edna. So Jonah, and some people also relate at times uh, with Jonah, but they, they are not. Um, Jonah, what we see is that he prayed to Yahweh. Yahweh is the Lord, the true and the living God, the true and the living God. Then there's something peculiar that I want us to get hold of. Uh, Jonah prayed from the stomach the belly of a fish. That's so peculiar. That's so peculiar. I think of all the prayers in the scripture, perhaps none is more peculiar than the prayer of Jonah, a prophet who made his wish <laughs> from the stomach of a fish. 
this is what I want to say. God's people can pray from any place. From any place. This is what we are learning this morning. Whether from the belly of the ship, so to speak, which he did not. He was in the belly of the ship. And the tides and the waves and the storm. Then the guy was not praying and others were praying and him he was at the belly of the ship. He did not pray. We can pray to be attacked the belly of the fish. I see a man called Peter more or less praying in the midst of the storm and asking the Lord, what should I do? Should I come? Should I come? He was in the midst of the storm, but he prayed out, lifted up his cry. This man did not pray. But again, we see he prayed from the belly of the fish. Even though Jonah had descended to the deepest depths, he could still look up. Though he was in tremendous trouble. <laughs> Don't you think this is interesting that he is in the belly of a fish and this is what he said, I will look again at your holy temple. Even being covered with, I am not a very good scientific person, I would have broken down and imagined what it looks like to be in a whale's um, a fish, uh, whatever, a stomach. He says, I will look up again to your holy temple. And then he says, my prayer came, that is uh, verse 7, I believe, my prayer came to you into your holy temple because Jonah looked up to God God brought him up key statement if you can look up to God from your space God will bring you up God will bring you up one of the things that we see about his predicament is that uh, Jonah was certainly in distress. He was drowning, drowning to death. Though his prayer, though his, uh, he, his state was this difficult, he lifted up a prayer. And his prayer was twofold. It was a prayer of repentance. That is, repentance is not saying, I'm sorry. Repentance actually means it's change of direction. So his prayer was, Lord, I am not going to Tarshish. I am going to Nineveh. And then his prayer had another component, which is a prayer. He pleaded God for rescue. He pleaded God for rescue. Whether we've disobeyed or not, we can go to God and ask for his divine intervention. Intervention. Oh, time image. So, uh, so um, um, Jonah wetu, maumbiake, the one of the two key things that we see, he purposed to praise, but he also purposed to preach, just as God had had um, had told him. Let me just pick his perspective and then we finish. What was Jonah's perspective in prayer? What can be our perspective in prayer? Ningekwa mini njambi, ningekwa ni metaipizi notes zenye pasta na semo kwa kwa chati boxes zot. Menye mini siye. So what was Jonah's perspective in prayer? <clears throat> Therefore, from a human point of view, if I asked us this morning, if I open our, our whiteboard once again and ask us, eh, Ninani, who cast Jonah into the sea? We will say it was the sailors that casted him into the sea. But look at Jonah. Jonah's viewpoint in his prayer speaks of a church that accepted change. I don't know who said that, but that was a very powerful statement. He accepted change. 
from his fear, from being rebellious, from being disobedient. Today, mtu wakiku kirusho wanguke chini, eh, utasapani watu walirirusha. But look at Jonah. He says this, for you, he's speaking to God, had cast me into the deep, into the heart of the sea. Ah, Jonah. Sinu wana ume walikurusha? No, I said, man, no. For you, perspective this is in keeping with the emphasis on the sovereign supremacy of god throughout that book god's supremacy has been emphasized i love that point it was also mentioned Jonah saw it as such. Kumbe, we can look around and say, probably this is what God is doing in my life. Probably this is why I am walking through this state and this situation. This perspective changed. This is what I'm saying. Um, the posture, the posture of our heart really matters in the place of prayer. The posture of our heart truly matters. The posture of your heart and my heart matters. Lord, we thank you this morning. So truly so that uh, you've put a man called Jonah in the scriptures. A man whom you, God, was all the sovereign power, called him. Imagine you are a mortal God. You called a mortal man. And you have allowed us to see how that went down. How he refused. He paid fair. <laughs> run away from you. We see you pursuing a man who is running away. So you never stop. So when we sing here in this uh, 21st century that your love chases us down and refuses to let us go. So it is very true. That your heart goes after us. You know in the long run what really counts and matters. I pray that today, even as we think about Jonah, let us remember one thing. That Jonah prayed. He prayed. If Jonah prayed, then we can pray. He did not just pray, but at the end of it, his perspective had completely changed. Perspective changed. And I also see a man who was so authentic and he had uh, the confidence to speak to you and to mention to you. Lord, you're never scared when we speak our mind to you. He said, Lord, I know you're sending me, but I know you will relent and will not bring this evil. Spoke. Father, I pray even when it's so difficult, and when we feel fearful, we feel like we cannot do it, you're calling us out. You're saying, yes, you can do it. You can pray. In the midst of the storm, when the darkness is so thick, when the road is unclear, when you feel like you're between the hard place and the rock, you can pray, you can pray. We can't just pray because we've been commanded, because prayer 
speaks of our posture, posture of our heart. That we know God is sovereign and he is able to do far much exceedingly abundantly above what we pray. I lift each one of us this morning. Are there men and women here, Lord? Maybe by their bed, in their rooms, or seated somewhere, and searching around their lives and seeing things that prove to be difficult. But I pray you are God of all flesh. Lord, I pray you're not limited. Prayer does not know distance. We are gathered here on earth in this virtual space. And we are gathering in the name of Jesus, I pray. Would you move in our lives? Would you move the immovables? Would you break the rocks? I pray that you would give peace, that you would anoint. Pray that you do visit us so specially, Lord. Is it our families, Lord, to the glory and honor of your name? I worship you and I honor you. I adore you, Lord. Today is blessed for us. The hand of the Lord goes ahead of each one of us. Yes. That the Lord will watch over you and keep you and give you success in all that we need to do. May the spirit of God that gives discernment upon us to teach us what to do and what not to do today. For oh Lord, we have prayed to you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 Mm -hmm. And as you unmute, don't mute. When are we Um, Let's keep praying about uh, these devotionals. I don't know what the Lord wants, but... Uh, uh, the remaining days, let's pray for God's will. Um, I see it's uh, two minutes, so we are good. Bueno, Bariki. Nikki, it's good to see you. Uh, God bless you. Uh, amen. Amen. Irene. Oh, we can share the grace. May the grace. Amen. Thank you, Njambi, for the notes. Karibu.